beaten Old Dominion this year and kind of wildly celebrated on the court. Uh, Drexel didn't really do that. I mean, you guys shook hands and, and kind of went about. I mean, a lot of people thought, you know, whoever ended the streak would have kind of this national championship-like celebration afterwards. Can you just talk about it? Well, we were definitely happy, but tomorrow is a big game, so we'll keep it up for tomorrow. Coming, sorry. Uh, Coach, Tyler Hill's a freshman. She played yes. probably her best game of the season. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Uh, Tyler knew exactly what we needed her to do today. Uh, the rebounding was going to be a factor, and she uh, stepped up uh, to that role. And she's a very aggressive player, and it just really it came down to the understanding of what needs to be done. I thought she played well yesterday. Our freshmen have done a very good job of stepping in there and making some things happen. And that's her key focus out there. She'll get some rebounds, and she certainly did it today. Coach, despite how horribly ODU was shooting the ball, did you still expect some sort of second half run from them? Absolutely, yes. He never uh, counted a team out uh, at any point in the game. Uh, so I was. I was I was proud of our girls in understanding our strategy of get back on D. You know, we joked about a little bit about us being last place in the conference in offensive rebounds. So I told the girls, you know, let's not start today going after the offensive rebound. Get back because this team can really push it and score quickly. So I think that was one of the factors, us forcing them to play a half court game. Uh, and then when they were struggling to shoot the ball, you just, you're just waiting for a couple of them to fall. And, and thankfully, it didn't happen. So getting back, <clears throat> cutting down on your transition. Correct. That was, you know, that was the number one focus. That was the only way they you thought they could beat you. Yes. Yes, we didn't slow them up. We turned it into a running game. It was certainly a game in their hands. You guys said you didn't talk about it before the game, but overnight, did anybody think that, that, that the fact that you were going to play Old Dominion and the fact that they'd won 17 championships in a row, did that kind of add to the pressure at all, or did that make it harder to go to sleep, or, or just anything like that? I, I was up for about four hours past curfew last night <laughs> uh, thinking about it. Uh, I've been in this position before my freshman year, and we lost to them by one. Um, that was heartbreaking. So I think I've dreamed about it ever since then. I think for myself, uh, going into this game, I just knew that, you know, Old Dominion is a very, they're a great team. They're very athletic and they're well coached. 17 championships. Uh, I was thought about last night, too, going to bed, like, you know, what do we do when we win this game? Obviously, we move on. And I just knew we had the team to go ahead and, you know, we have the opportunity to beat Old Dominion and might have that chance, and we went ahead and did it. Coach, are you surprised it took 18 years for someone to unseat them? Um, well, after seeing some of the players that have gone through that program, and, uh, and Wendy at the helm, no, not entirely. Uh, we've watched the games over the years. But I did always feel if you could get Old Dominion, it would have to be in the semifinals, because that's a team, when they get to that championship game, they're not losing it. They're too comfortable there. They know what has to be done. Uh, to finish it off. Uh, Coach, how do you guard against you know, such a big accomplishment to knock them out that your girls are ready for tomorrow? Well, again, we talked about it. Uh, we break the season down into three seasons. We talk about preseason games, conference games, and then postseason. So we told them heading down here, we had a week of practice, that we had three games left. So take one at a time. Yesterday was a little bit shaky. Uh, today, a little more comfortable out there doing our thing. And now, tomorrow's the end. You gotta give everything you have. So that's all we do, we just break it down one at a time. Any more questions? All right, thank you ladies. Thank you.